Today, I'm gonna to talk about the Roth IRA early withdrawal rules. So we're gonna talk about the first time home buyer, college, and everything else. If this is your first time at our channel or you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button at the bottom. My name is Travis Sickle, certified financial planner with Sickle Hunter Financial Advisors. So let's start right at the beginning and go through what a Roth IRA is. You get a paycheck, the taxes come out of that paycheck, and what you're left with are after-tax dollars. Those dollars, the ones you got from your paycheck, they can go directly into the Roth IRA. Now the big benefit of the Roth IRA is that the growth, so you're gonna invest these dollars and hopefully they'll grow over time, that growth will come out tax-free. So that's a huge benefit but that benefit is realized in retirement. But what if you need to get to the money earlier or before age 59 and a half, or are there any loopholes or tax codes that we can look at to get this money out a little bit sooner? Well, there is. When you're looking at the Roth IRA, there are two components. There are the contributions or what you put into the Roth IRA and the growth or the gains. Now, the contributions that you put into a Roth IRA, you can pull those out at any time. You can pull them out the next day that you put them in, a week later, a month, three years down the road, it doesn't matter. You can pull those contributions out at any point without any taxes or penalties. It's really the growth portion that we look at when we're looking at to see if there are any taxes or penalties that we might incur. So the first way we're gonna talk about that you can get access to your Roth IRA dollars early, the growth portion, is looking at if you're a first time home buyer. So if this is in fact your first home purchase, you can take up to $10,000 out of the Roth IRA and apply it for the down payment. Now that $10,000 includes growth. So you can pull both the contributions and the growth out before age 59 and a half. But there is a caveat. You have to have the Roth IRA open for at least five years. So this is a huge benefit because you're not paying taxes on any of the gains and you're not even in retirement yet. So that's a huge benefit. So with the first time home buyer, it's $10,000 or less, and you have to wait the five years. Now, if you don't wanna wait the five years, then you can always just stick to the contributions that you put into the Roth IRA. But if you wanna pull out all of it, you have to wait that five years. You can also use the Roth IRA for college savings. You can pull out both the contributions and the earnings, again, with the five-year rule. If you wait five years, you can pull out as much as you want for college expenses, but they have to be qualifying college expenses. You can't just pull the money out and not document where that money is going. It has to go for the qualified expense. Now, if it's for college and you haven't met the five-year rule yet, then you could take out earnings and contributions and just avoid the 10% early withdrawal penalty on those gains. You're still gonna pay ordinary income tax on the gains for college if it's before the five years. But again, contributions, whatever you put into it has already been taxed, so you can pull it out tax-free. Now for college, if you wait the full five years, then you can pull out as much as you want for college education expenses only. What's also nice about the Roth IRA and college is you can pay for room and board as long as the student is enrolled for at least 50% or half time. There are other qualifying events, and if you want me to discuss them, put it in the comments below, and I will be happy to go over them. But the big one is, what else can you do with the Roth IRA dollars if you wanna have access to those dollars before age 59 and a half, or before you wanna to get to retirement? Well, you can. You can access the contributions for basically anything. You have to have no reasons at all to pull the contributions out of the Roth IRA. So anything that you put into the Roth IRA, just understand that you can pull it right out. You just can't touch the growth. So whatever you put into the Roth IRA is your contributions and anything that is of growth, you don't wanna pull out until a qualifying event or age 59 and a half. And there's one last bit that I wanna share with you so you understand about the Roth IRA, and that is the five-year rule. Now I'm gonna do a separate video on the five-year rule, but a quick recap. If you're close to 59 and a half, you've never had a Roth IRA, and you just opened up one, then you have to wait the full five years. And if that carries you well past age 59 and a half, then you still have to meet that five-year requirement in order to pull out the gains. 
But the whole benefit of the Roth IRA is long-term investing. So you have to wait quite some time for there to be significant growth in order to have those penalties. So the five-year rule in that case, probably not a big deal, but you want to make sure that you understand it so you don't make a taxable mistake. So the Roth IRA really is like a Swiss Army knife of financial planning because you can use it for so many different things. You can use it for general expenses, for retirement, for first-time home purchase, or college expenses. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and leave your comments down at the bottom.